Hello, hello, my beautiful, beautiful, crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here with me today. I'm very excited because I'm gonna try one more time to do a craft with me. So, get out some goodies. So, you're gonna need today a little lace, a little ribbon maybe, some um, scrap paper of some kind or some, um, let's see, what do you call that? Let me see if I can find it. I'm gonna be using, where'd it go? I think it's in this mess, some baking paper that got coffee dyed, tea dyed, whatever you wanna call it. And it's nice and crispy, so I'm gonna use that. I might use a little book page, some scraps, some words, um, some netting. I'm just gonna use bits and pieces of stuff, okay? So, um, anyway, I want to welcome each and every one of you, and I hope you're all excited to be here as I am to have you here. Uh, I want to welcome my brand new subscribers, and I want to say hi, hugs, hello, love, and kisses to those of you who've been following me on a regular basis. Hi, you guys, all my girlfriends and guy friends. I'm happy you're here. So today, um... We're going to do a fun little project. We're going to make some, what are we going to call these? Lace and paper, um, paper clips. They're a snippet. And here they are. Let me, let me stand up here so I can see if you can see that. Now, they're little bits of paper and lace. And I use some pretty netting. And I use some ribbon. And then there's that paper. And what these are is they're paper clips to, to clip on your journal pages. But... The reason I wanted to make these is because, let me look. Um, you know, I'm working on that um, flip-flop journal. And in my flip-flop journal, um, I realize I can't really use anything super heavy. So I need something that can go on the page that's super light. So let's see if I can do this here. Let me see. Here's my little paper clip. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. It's supposed to be running free like this, okay? And then you go like this, and you put it on your page. There we go, I got it. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so there you have it. It goes like that. Okay, it lays flatter than that. I'm just struggling right now, sorry. Um, I'm gonna fix this, there we go. It got turned on me is what happened. Okay, there we are, oh goodness. So there it is. So I wanted some bits of snippets and lace for some of the pages that are more plain, um, that maybe don't have something on them or whatever. So I thought I would make a few of these. Now I have four um, signatures in that and the signatures are gonna end up with lots of flips and flops. So therefore I wanna make quite a few. Whatever I don't use, of course, I will you know, put elsewhere. So this is what we're making today. All right, and I'm gonna to try to work in this little space that I have. We'll see how successful I am. So I was saying you would need some bits of lace, maybe some littler pieces. You're gonna need some bigger scraps. You know, some bigger scraps. I'm gonna set those off the camera. Okay, I'm gonna move those over. Uh, maybe a small hole punch, um, paper clips, and either safety pins or bulb pins. Now. I can't find my safety pins, I must have packed them, so I'm gonna use bulb pins, and then I'm using some um, of these kind of copper-colored uh, paper clips, and you can just get those online, both of them you can get online. And then I kind of have all my little bits sort of set and ready to go. I have extra words and things that maybe I wanna use. I might wanna use book page, I don't think so, but you never know, and then of course some kind of, you could use an old tea bag, you could use coffee filters, there's just what you know whatever you wanna use. So uh, the words I'm using, these. this one is Sam Pool. This one, I can't remember who does these. I think this is Ruby and Pearl, maybe. Let me see, um, I just had it out a minute ago. Hopefully I didn't bury it. Of course I did, you know me. Well, I have to put it somewhere where I'll never find it again, right? <laughs> I don't know where I went. Oh gosh, you guys, I just had it. Oh, but you know, this memory of mine is really getting on my nerves. I always knew everything. Yeah, that's Ruby and Pearl. Okay, so the one with all the beautiful colors is Ruby and Pearl. The other one is Sam Pool. 
Of course, you can use anything you want. You can use stamped images. You could use whatever you got. Uh, I don't have any stamped images. So, I mean, I do. I'm, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Lots of them. Let me see. What do I have here? Yeah, I have these, but they're all numbers. And I didn't want numbers. I wanted French words to go with the um, journal I'm working with. So, all right. I'm going to move a lot of this stuff off to the side right now because I kind of have my base is ready to go. So before I get going, how are all of you? Are you all well, doing good, having a good day? Hopefully uh, you will see this on Monday. I am filming Sunday, which is my anniversary. And I didn't wanna make one on Monday cause that's my birthday. So I wanna have that day off. It's okay today to have it off, you know, to do this because I'm not, we're not doing anything today. We're just hanging out. So what I've done is I've made little piles of words. So you want a couple of words, a couple of images, little or big. You're gonna want a little bit of a scrap of some kind of, like I said, it can be a coffee filter, a um, tea bag, um, a piece of parchment paper, cooking parchment paper, or even regular parchment paper, whatever you like, you know, whatever you want to use as your paper. You can also use a piece of fabric if you like, which I don't think I have, I didn't think I brought any. So these are the ones I want to make. Okay, I've got the bases here. Now the next thing I want is I want a, um, some kind of a lace, a lace base. <laughs> and so I'm at, for each one, I'm going to want to pull that out. Let's see, I've got some more laces here. I'm looking to see if I had, yeah, I was looking for some netting. I wanted to see if I had netting, and I do have some netting. I do have some really sparkly netting, and I've been using that because for this particular project, I thought I might want some of that. So we'll put that there. What are you guys up to today? Anything cool and exciting this week? It's Monday, the beginning of your week, so hopefully it's gonna be a good one for you. I am off camera, sorry, again. Um, just going through my little snippet boxes to see what I have here that I might wanna use for my laces. I think I'm gonna to wanna to use that as one of them. Maybe some of that, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't think I have any actual fabric fabric. I looked on my desk here to see if I had any. I thought I did. But for some reason, I don't know where my fabric pieces went. So that's okay. I probably didn't bring them down. You know, it's hard to have. Can't have it all. I keep telling myself I can't have it all here, even though I want it all here. So what I want to do is I want to start with a piece of lace behind everything. Now, if you want to look at the layers, um, this one I put the paper on the back. What did I do on that one? Yeah, I think I decided that I liked the paper on the back instead of the lace on the back. But you could do whichever one you want. Now you notice these hang loose and I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, so there's our, let me, I'm gonna stand up. Like I said, this is not my normal. So I'm gonna try this, fingers crossed guys, because you guys are telling me you're missing the crafting with me. You wanna see me craft, so I'm doing my best to make sure that happens for you. And I actually stay in frame so you could see me. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna get, I want to figure out how big a piece of lace I want and I think I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of pre-cut some okay let's do that I'm um, some things I will move off camera because it's just easier for me not to have them in my way so get out your goodies have a play with me you're gonna love these these are fun they're easy they're super quick I'm just kind of getting the sizes ready which means now I have another one that I could use maybe on this one. Yep, okay. I'm gonna kind of do it, um, what's the word? Mass making style. Oh, here's another one. I think this one I could maybe cut in half and use for a couple of these smaller ones. See if that would work. Hmm, I need two more. Let's let's maybe use a different, let's try this one. This is pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so I'm, I want the pattern on it. Let me get. Oh, 
Okay, and now we wanna add a little bit. Oh, you guys, I forgot to check my time. Let me see what time is it. See, I'm only 10 minutes in. Um, okay. All right. I don't think we'll do an hour video, but uh, shorter ones are better too, you know. I think that works okay. All right, so now I want to add some netting, and I did grab a whole bunch of that a minute ago, as you saw me. I'm gonna grab all that and put that out here. And you could have more than one. Now, you could put <clears throat> a piece of, um, ooh, what do we call that? It'll come back to me in a minute. Cheesecloth, you can add cheesecloth to it if you would like. I don't know that I wanted cheesecloth. I think I didn't think it was elegant enough for what I'm doing, but I think cheesecloth would be great. Or, um, hmm. I'll cut a piece. Eee. All right. Oopsie. I think what I'll do is cut this in half. Maybe I'll do two with cheesecloth just for the heck of it, right? My scissors seem to be getting dull. Oh, I hope I didn't get a hold of some paper. Oh no, that would be bad. Okay. I'm looking for the right side. So what are you guys up to? Anything exciting this week? <clears throat> are you guys gonna have a fun week? Hold on a minute. <clears throat> I'm gonna get some of my coffee. I'm having made me a beautiful anniversary brunch. Mm. Sorry about the slurp, but I don't know how to do it. I not slurp a tiny bit. Um, and I think I'll still add a bit of the netting for sparkle because this is very sparkly netting. I don't know if you could see that, if it'll sparkle in the light or not. But Okay, so we've got quite a few layers going on that one. <clears throat> Once we have each one, then I'll put it together. Sorry about my throat. It seems to be really raspy today. I think part of it's allergies, but we also had a heavy fog this morning, and I don't know why, it, but it's messing with me big time. So, how's your guys' weather? That's hot, cold. What's happening there? Our weather's been good, so-so. Not hot, not cold, just right. Cooling down cooling down at night. Oh, we are going to want to add some little lace bits. So in a minute, I'll go oh, go to my lace uh, thing. My lace bucket, my scrap bucket. Oh, someone asked why I had this on my scissors to keep me from using them for paper. <laughs> Just they're irritating, so it reminds me not to cut my paper with it. Okay, so... Okay. Now, well, here's a different, oh, this one's got a bit of sparkle on it. Maybe I'll just cut this one. I was trying to think if there were any other questions you guys had for me that I hadn't answered recently. I think... I think we're all good. I think I've been answering questions as I go along. As I get them, I try to answer them. Some of them I get on, you know, private messages or whatever, but, um... Oh, that one's got knitting. Ah, how about this one? We could put it on this one. Okay, so we need one more there. See, everybody else has got some knitting or something on it. So let's get... And I've left a little selvage edge because I think it's cool on there. Okay, so I think I've got a little bit of everything. Now, if you hear some snoring, that is Misty. She's right at the dining room table here from across from me, laying in a chair on a nice thick cushion, taking a little nap. It's my nap girl. Oh, she's so funny. She loves her naps. But of course she wants to take one where mom is, even if mom is doing a video. So, oh, here's some lace bits. I'm looking in my little bucket here to see what I have because I think some of these would be great. Well, some of them are bigger than the piece. That's the only thing you want to keep it small. I don't have any sorry silk. I don't. I don't own any sorry silk, believe it or not, or any of the chiffon ribbon. Um, 
by the way, this um, this project was inspired by Aldi, Aldi Sino Scrap, Anne over there. She did one of these and I love them and I thought they were perfect for my, my flip-flop journal. So, you know, for this little journal here. And so um, I thought for this, I would just make some things. Then whatever's left just goes into my stash for another project, which I do have like two or three behind this, but I'm not really ready to, um, you know, get on with those yet. I, I really wanna stay on this project because I'm loving it so much. And I figure if we're making things for it, you'll be seeing all kinds of different ephemera that you can use in your own journals. So there's, that's a good way to do it, right? Mm, I love that, isn't that pretty? That's a pretty one. Oh, I just pulled that out of there. Did I do it off this one too? No, where did this go? Did I have two cut? Let's see, so everybody got, don't mind my head. Hopefully it's not in. Huh, I must've cut an extra piece. I must've cut two, ha, huh, whoopsie. Hmm, I think I'll cut a couple of these. Um, oh, you're gonna hear her snore. Oh my gosh, she has the world's biggest snore. She snores louder than my husband. She's got a crazy large snore. So you know this one maybe. Let's see. I gotta get these this wound on to my pretty new pink cards that I'm using for everything. Onto my cards like this. See, I'm getting everything off the cardboard onto the pretty cards that I got from uh <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm just drawing a complete blank. It'll come back to me. Anyway. I've I've done a um Etsy for this. So just just go look at one of my Etsy's and you'll find um, the reveal for that. Yeah, for these cards. I am totally blank today. I, I apologize, guys. Just uh, not sure why. Okay, I've already used this one here, so I want something different. What have I got here? Got some of my older laces that were, you know, 79 cents a yard <laughs> way back when. I don't even know if these are on the right cards though, but I thought you gotta get a kick out of seeing that we used to pay just hardly anything for lace now. And this would be, you know, $5.99 a yard now. It's crazy. I went to the big uh, truckload sales they used to have them and you could, they would just lay these out all over tables covered and you just grab as fast as you could and you paid whatever the total price was on it there'd be a sticker and if it's normally 79 cents a piece you were really paying like three cents but it would give you the total yardage in which you had to pay oh it's just awesome so i have just tons and tons of them but i'm pretty much using it all up i don't have as much as i used to have okay now we're ready for the busy part all right so what I want to do is I want to, um, I'm going to need my ink. Hopefully I'm staying in camera. I hope you guys are, can see. I'm going to ink my edges because I like them, but you do not have to, of course. If you're not an inker, don't worry about it. But if you've never tried it, give it a whirl. Now I did, I did ink the rest of them. I just missed that one. I'm not sure how I missed that one, but I did. All right, so now um, I want to first thing you want to do is you want to get a little hole in there and um, you want to decide where you're gonna put this like do you want it in the middle do you want it off to one corner um, some of these I glued them in place so that once I put it on there it would stay put so I'm thinking I want my hole uh, right about there Okay, and then I'm gonna take my bulb pin. Now, if you are going to use lace, you wanna put it on in your on your pin, because it's gonna be front to back, right? So you wanna put that on there first. Then, you could do this without glue, absolutely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close that for a minute, and I'm gonna decide, do I want it to be fi a fixed tag, or do I want it to float around? And I am thinking I might want to have it fixed in place. 
I don't necessarily have to have movement whoop, movement on everything. Caught myself, you guys. I was way down. I was lay, way down there where I'm used to working because it's hard for me to see this far away. But I'm, I'm doing all right. You know, it's not bad. It's not bad. I've missed crafting with you guys so much. You know, at this point, <clears throat> I got to figure out where. There we go. We're going to put that pin through everything. Now, if you have heavy papers or heavy lace or whatever, this is the time where you might want to use your pokey tool and poke a hole through everything or use a small little hole punch or use your um, your crocodile. Um, I, I didn't want to drag out the crocodile. I like this little guy and I love the size hole it uses because at this point now, we're going to put it through have to figure out where it is and we're gonna leave a little bit of the fabric part up at the top in the lace and we're gonna we're gonna pin this down a little bit lower okay so I'm gonna put it through there and then I'm going to turn see it's right here Then I'm gonna go back in okay and now I blew that because I always forget this part Put it through like that and you're going to take your paper clip you don't need a giant paper clip but you're going to take your paper clip and you're going to hang it on the back of that pin see then you're going to turn your pin and you're going to go back through your fabric or whatever you got there not the first card ah oh, squeaky stairs sorry guys my hubby's coming down the stairs he's trying to be really quiet but he says hi <laughs> Because you know I'm in the living room, right? For those of you that don't know, I'm not in my studio because it is waiting for floors. And I'll explain that in just a minute once we get through making one of these and we can chat. Okay, so we've got everything on there and through the paper, through the lace. I just have to get everything. Okay, let me put it down. It's making me crazy. And there we go. I just have to line everything back up. It all got out of whack. Now, I don't know if I got through. If you're worried that something you put on there isn't going to stay like this, I'm worried about my cheesecloth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread that out a bit and I'm gonna add a little bit of glue. And just Put those down and get them to stay, right? Yeah, hubby's going to the grocery store to pick up our dinner tonight. We were going to go out, but neither one of us really feel like it, so we're going to stay in. And he's going to smoke and barbecue some lobster, some filet mignon, mm, roasted potatoes, asparagus. Yum, yum. That'll be a good dinner. He's going to pick up some yummy dessert and a split of champagne because we are going to, we're going to, Drink a little champagne, it is 45 years, you know. 50 together, oh, I just can't get over that. Just, <laughs> I can't be that old, but I am. Bye, sweetie. Okay, he's heading out the door now. So, there you have it. Now, of course, you can tie on a little bow if you would like, a little ribbon, um, whatever you want. I just don't really, I, I'm not liking the way that looks. So, pardon me while I cut that down a bit. You don't really want that there. Okay. All right. So there's our paper clip, and that makes it really easy. I thought I pulled out a, did I, or did I put it back already? Ha! Okay, yeah. What I want to show you is, there, it's on there. Okay, and you have a little bit sticking up. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, you can easily take your paper clip Put it on the side and turn it and then you can turn it that's why we don't um, glue it down you can do it that way too so I don't know and then you just slide it along there you can slide that along the paper clip and put it on that way okay oh my gosh I don't know can you hear Misty snoring <laughs> I hope not but maybe there we go, there we go. Now it's on there. I had to get it in front of me where I could see it. So there you have your cute little snippet. 
and you could certainly keep it all loose. You can add a bow to it. You could glue on, if you really wanted to make it fancy, you could add a little applique up there. Let me see if I have, hopefully my arm isn't in the middle of everything. There we go, maybe some of those. Or we could add, I'm getting my snippet, I'm getting the snippet boxes. Let's see, what do we got over here? If you wanted to fancy it up, you could add some snippet. You know, you could add a piece of lace that does that, that has that on it. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, I really like that. I wonder if I should put that on there. You could add a fancy satin bow, flower, a rose, whatever you want. Hmm, I like that now. Oh, guess what the problem with that is? I would have to unpin everything and run the pin through that. Or... Or I could do it old school and just glue it on there. But I think I would want it to be a dangle, you know. So maybe I'll go back to that after. Or let me look. And I could just add a little bit of glue. I don't know that this will work, you guys, but I could staple it on, too. Okay, we'll just let that dry, and we'll go back and revisit that. Okay, but cute, right? Cute, cute. I mean, I could add... Let's see if I have any cut. I'm sure I do. I always have a few cut. Um, Mom. I could add like a pretty flower up here to that one. Oh, that would be really pretty, wouldn't it? I don't know if it's the right side or the wrong side. There we go. Hmm. I might add that one to that one. I I'm liking that. I don't know. Did I pick out a piece of lace for that? Did I? Not yeah, I did. Okay. All right. So we have that one. Let's try that one. So what do you think, guys? You like the project? I think it's fun. I'm. I, they're a blast. You just hundred. It's nothing fancy. It's not structured. Excuse my coffee. Mm, I don't think I could show you. It's my Ink and Think mug from Gail. Anyway. Gail Gustinelli. Okay. From her shop. So we're going to do that again. <sighs> All right. I was asking you guys what you're up to. What are we up to? Ooh, you guys. Well, the floors. My husband has decided he wants to get the guest bath floor done first before going into the studios. So we're looking at an extra week of work, meaning we will not get to the studio for another week or so. So reason I decided to go ahead and do this because I am realizing that um, I'm not going to get my studio for weeks, which means no videos for weeks, you know, full, full videos. So that's the reason I started trying to work in this little space because I don't know when I'm going to, because by the time they get to the floors, they have to do two at once, which is two rooms before I could even set up. Uh, oh, it's going to be a good month before I could do a video in, in either one of the studios. It's not going to be a quick setup. It's a lot of unpacking to do. Um, I was packing my inside studio. I mean, my, um, trying, all, I, all I got as far as the desk, and I already have tons of stuff on this one, but I pretty much only got through my great big desk and that I work on, table, desktop that I work on, and, um, there's still so much to pack in that room. That's just my paper crafting room. We're not even talking the sewing room. I'm trying to find some place to hook this in at. No, I think I got it. Okay, so I think I got, I've got that on there, that on there. So do I have the right side? This is very fiddly. Okay, then I'm gonna put it through this. 
and then I'm gonna go through. I wanna make sure everything's on here. I'm gonna go like this. Put it through the first. Did I get everything? No. There, now I got it. I had to make sure I had a good hold on that back. And then I want to put on my paper clip. I'm going to go back through. And these bulb pins honestly are not that sharp. So, you know, but I found safety pins just as dull. And these were technically what they always, uh, seamstress uses in place of a safety pin. So. And there you have it. Isn't that cute? I just love it. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. It picks up that rose. Oh, that will look just gorgeous on, on these pages that I'm going to be using. I'll have to pick out, whoops, I just made a mess out of that. Pick out which one I want to use where, but again. All right, so these are the ones I'm still working on. I'll probably only do a few more on camera because I think I'm going to run out of time. But So it's going to be a while, guys. Sorry, I just don't think I'm going to be able to get any. Um... I know some of you are really missing it. You're saying how much you miss it. I, I, that is so sweet, you guys. You just warm my heart, letting me know that you're missing me and, and missing my video, you know, my crafting videos. That's just so lovely, you guys. I just can't thank you enough. You know, you're so kind and um, just makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. And it's one of the happy things in my life right now. So thank you, thank you for all your kind, kind comments. It means so much to me. And for my dearest friend, Stephanie, who sent me a birthday card. Thank you, sweetheart. That was so kind of you. Made my day. Oh my gosh, I loved it. Let me get this pin through the top. And then let me add um, my paper clip on the back. I've put the paper clips on after. You know, that's easy enough to do if you forgot to do it. I can show you how to do that if you think you need to know how. Now I've got to get that to go back through. That's the only tricky part. And then close up your... And you can certainly add yarn or string or, you know, anything you want to add to that. Let's see, do I have... Did I? Did I? Did I? Let me see if I have any of my pretty little string we could add to that. Uh, it's kind of a... I think I got it at mm, maybe... I want to say I got this at Hobby Lobby. This is Red Heart. And it it's very pretty. So. Oh, you know what? I think I cut some already. Let me see. Accidentally. Accidentally on purpose. <laughs> I cut it for something, didn't use it. Yep. See? Look. Okay, so I don't have to cut these, but this way you could see it's called Scrubby Stripes. And I got it in these two colors because I figured they were going to work the best. I, and I got these at Hobby Lobby, and you can probably get them online, I would think. I don't know. For those of you who shop online and you don't, don't, uh, don't go to the stores. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I think this would look adorable on this one. Let me see. Let's just kind of, it does come in a kind of unwind and wound, which we like, but maybe I could pull it through uh, as a loop to get it through there. There we go. And then I want to do a little bow. Kind of a big bow. I need a tiny little bow. I need a baby bow. I need a baby bow. Oh, you guys, we're still being invaded by ants. Again, this is nuts. We get rid of them. I think they're gone today. They're in the bathroom all over. The what in the world? There's nothing in the bathroom to eat. I don't know. They don't seem to be after water um, because there were puddles of water in the shower, and they were just totally ignoring that. So what are you looking for? <laughs> you know? 
That's what I want to say to them. What are you looking for, you crazy ants? So look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love that. So let's see. I, there was another one here that was really plain that was bugging me. I think it was, was it this one? I think this one. I was thinking it needed something. So let's, instead of the pink one, let's do the beige one. And let's put that on there. I won't got to put it through this way just to get it through there. I might have to pick this up where I could see it. I have my pokey tool here if I need it. Sometimes these hands of mine are not fabulous. Okay, someone asked me about my hands. I was hoping to get, for the rest of my life, never discuss this, but I have an autoimmune disease that causes this discoloration of my hands. I'm losing the pigment. It's not just there, it's in other places, but... I know they're not pretty, I apologize, but they are what they are. So, they're creative hands that had a lot of abuse all of their life, burns and all kinds of things. And when the autoimmune disease came along, it took out the pigments in my hands, and my skin, in lots of places. So, I would have rather had it anywhere but on my hands, but you know. Oh well, it is what it is. I hope it doesn't offend anybody. If it does, don't watch. I can't do anything about it. I could put makeup on it, I guess. <sighs> well, if I gotta do that to do a video, then I'm just not gonna do videos, so. Please don't comment back, it's okay. Just letting you guys know, okay? All right. I had a not nice comment and I deleted it immediately and cried and then, you know, moving on, right? So. I caught it really quick. So it was, it was very mean. Obviously, there was no one from our world because there are a number of us who have this. I've seen other Instagram videos and things with people who have the lack of pigment. I'll be glad when the pigment gets to here and then, you know, my hands will just be nice and normal again. Or they'll look normal even though they're not. And they're very sensitive to things, so I have to be very careful with them. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go like this. I'm going to do this. This... Did I cut these later? You know what? I don't think I inked some of these because I'm not seeing any ink on here. I was talking to my husband when I was doing it, so I probably forgot to ink. <laughs> I'm like, wait, that's not inked. Let me get that inked. You know me, I gotta have it. I want the age on it because it is going into a journal that's supposed to be from Marie Antoinette, which is like the 18, early 18, mid 18, mid, early to mid 1800s. So I think this one. I just didn't, I didn't over ink anything because I didn't want it real dark, you know, but I must have missed those just completely. So let me check my time to make sure I haven't run out of it. I would be sad. Oh, we're only at 38 minutes. We got another 25 minutes if we want. Maybe I'll just finish these up and then we'll call it a video. What do you think? Okay. I think it's cool. All right very easy so fun these are addicting you guys you're going to want to make a hundred of them they are fun 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 oh my gosh um i would imagine you could do this with a lot of fabric backgrounds i did mine with paper um i thought that that would be i think ann did hers with all fabrics and laces and stuff so i'm doing my version as you know i like to do my own thing my own thing so let me get my pen and we're going to need another paper Bur clip. Ah, okay. All right, I was trying to think if there was much to share. I can't think of anything, you guys. I suppose I could tell stories. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you want to hear any stories. Oh my gosh. I suppose I could talk about my wedding day. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> It was a good day. No, it was a fabulous day. It, it really was a good wedding day. I was all of 17. I turned 18 that same night. Long, long story behind that one, but um, didn't have to get married. Um, we just chose to. We'd been together since I was like 12, so we're just been together so long, and we went through counseling and sat with a judge and, and did court counseling because you know when you get married at a certain age they want to make sure you mature enough and we both had jobs and we had an apartment and we weren't living together because back then 
you didn't do that. Uh, you could, but then you were, you know, persona non grata with your gratis with your parents. Okay, now I told you I would show you what happens. Okay, I did not put the paper clip in. So you know these are open on, right? So you just wind it on, wind it around. There you go, it's on there. That simple. So if you forget, don't worry about it. You know what else would be adorable up here? Um, besides the flower and that, you could add a little pearl or a little bead. I don't know. I don't think I have anything here. I don't think I kept out any of my pearls and my beads. Well, they're here somewhere, but maybe I'll just stick with the string, huh? I could see me doing another pink one, another pink bow here. So anyway, we got married. Um, and then midnight after our wedding, I turned 18. <laughs> so we were just ready, just ready. And obviously because we've been together 45 years. Had a nice wedding, went to Carmel, California for our honeymoon. It's all we could afford. We couldn't afford, I think we spent one or two nights at the Carmel Inn, which we tried to go back there. Oh my gosh, the price per night now is like a thousand bucks a night. It's like crazy expensive. So um, we've never gone back, but it's, um. I can't get that to tie a bow. I don't think it's long enough. So maybe I could just tie a knot or something. I don't know. Let's see, is this one? No, that one's short too. And then we, you know, tooled up and down um, the Monterey Carmel Coast and hung out for like two days, two or three days. He could only get a day or so off of work, same here. So, and then we started our life. We lived in a tiny little studio apartment Basically, you had to go into the closet to change your mind, literally. That's where my dressing table and our dresser were in this walk giant walk-in closet, which was nice. Um, so I went in there to do my homework. <laughs> I was still in high school. My husband was working full-time. But um, we were just ready to be married. We, we weren't pregnant. We didn't have any kids coming. And, you know, we just wanted to start our lives together. And it was the 70s. So, you know, everybody was doing it. You're either getting married or running away or whatever. And um, so we started our life early. We didn't have our first child till we were, I was almost 20. I think I turned 21 right after my daughter was born. So we're 20 years apart. So funny. So when she has her birthday, then I have mine not long later. So we always know how each how old each of us is because of the 20 years apart. She figured that out right away. Mom, we're 20 years apart. Yes, honey, we are. <laughs> oh, super cute. So we're also very close. She's my best friend. And she was named after Dolly Parton. Song, Jolene. It was one of my husband and I's favorite song. So we named our daughter that. Let me see. I keep pulling all my things apart. Ah! There we go. Okay. You stay there. You come over here. There we are. So, we've had a long marriage. As I was telling a friend of mine the other day, it's been hard work all the way. It has its goods and its bads, but you fight your way through it or you just give up, you know, and get divorced. So, we fought our way through it still do. <laughs> I will tell you, putting in floors is a um, strain. Not real bad, but mostly miscommunications as the timelines, I would say. But we still love each other, and we have beautiful children and grandchildren together, so, you know, we're doing our thing. I'm thinking that's too long. I thought I cut, had a longer piece here, but I do not. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this top off. I'll use that for something else. And then, there we go. It's best if you line everything up and kind of put it on there all together. And then I'll find something, another flower or uh, something to put up there. I think, I think, I think. I think I can do that. Actually, I probably should decide before... I pin it all together. Let me see. I know what I'm after is one of these little, these little goodies. Okay. 
Yeah, super cute. Okay. So let's add that. And then we'll add, oops. Trying to figure out what's top and bottom on this lace. Oh, there it is. Put that on there. Then we're gonna feed on our little papers. I don't know that Anne did it like this, but this is how I've ended up doing it. So, and then now we're gonna poke it through there, like we've been doing. And we're gonna this time I'm gonna remember to thread my paper clip on, <laughs> and then go back through my little paper. And hopefully not poke yourself too hard or too much. Close up your pin before you lose it. There you are. Isn't that cute? Just so cute. I just love these. This one I'm going to let dangle free. I love that, you know, these are all French words. And then one more to go. And then I think we'll probably be done. I'll probably let you go because, I mean, I, like I said, I can sit here and do it all day. Look how fast I made these, though. I'll tell you what the time was and how many we got done. I mean, I did a couple before we started, obviously, but, you know. Let me see. I want to punch my hole here. And I want this on there. And do I want anything else? Do I want another flower? What do I want on there? Before we put that all together, I'm trying to think what I want up there. Because we've got a rose, we've got a pretty pink dangle, we've got a little flower. Oh, you know what we don't have on there? Well, let me see. Let's see, let's see. Oh. I don't know. This might be too shiny, but of course I can ink it down. I'm gonna move my sippet boxes back where they belong so I don't knock them on the floor because I am working in very, very limited space here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've got stuff piled all around me. You almost can't see me. <laughs> Joe comes in for the day and I go, hey, Joe. You can't even see me behind all this mess. Oh my goodness. It's not mess, it's creativity. You can't see me behind all my creativity. Get a look for me here. I am kind of tiny. I'm not very tall, so I'm like 5'1". My husband's almost six feet, so we were, I thought we were a cute couple in high school. The petite girl and the football player. He was a football player in high school. I was the mascot. I was the cougar, because we were the Camden Cougars. Um, so, yeah, we were cute. We were only in high school together for two years, because he's two years older than me. So, I'm going to age this up a little bit. It's a little too shiny for me. Too perfect. A little too perfect. Did it too much? Sometimes with these glasses and the, and the glare in here, I can't really tell. I think I got it. All right, so we're going to put this through the back. I'm going to try. I don't want to rip it apart. That's the thing I'm worried about is destroying the bow. Mm. Okay, I got it. Oh, it's very stiff. Mm, I don't know if this is gonna work. We're gonna have to see. So I'm feeding everything on. I hope I did okay with this video, guys. You'll have to let me know if you could see okay. I'm hoping you can. Oh, I, these are so fun to make, you guys. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I wanna make some more. I wanna make more, I wanna make more. I wanna make more, I wanna do like 100. <laughs> you know what I might do is I might use the other words. I didn't end up using... Um, Sam Poole's words, but I think my next round, I'm going to use some of hers. I ended up just using uh, uh, Heather's at Ruby and Pearl. Look at that. That like, cute. Look, 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 look. Look how cute. Let me see. My new see. 
Okay, I'm gonna move that. I'm gonna move some things off my desk so we can lay these all out. Let's see, you got all this. Oh, and then they have a yummy sound because I'm using that crunchy, crunchy paper. Oh, I just love this paper. What I did is when I was coffee dyeing things, I had this um, baking paper that I get at Dollar Tree and I laid it out in the big pans, put my papers on top and coffee dyed. So when it was done, I just let it dry. And oh, it smells so fabulous. I was using pumpkin spice. Mmm, yummy. It's that time of year again. Pumpkin spice. So let me get these laid out. Okay, so there's this one here. I'll show you this one in just a minute. There's that one. Okay, let me move my chair so I can stand up and show you these. Hold on a minute. Okay. Hold, please. All right. Is that not sweet? Super precious. There's another one. I think I'm going to go back for some of these. Uh, this one I feel like needs a pearl, so I may undo it and add a pearl right there. I think that's going to get some pearls on it. And then we have this one. It's not cute with a little bow. Can you see the bow? That little bow right here. Look at that, it's adorable. And we have this one. This one definitely needs, it needs lace, it needs, it needs something. So I'm gonna go through my stash and see what I can find. And then this is that other one we did and I just glued that on and it came out perfect, it's fine. So there you have it guys. Pretty, pretty, right? I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Let me see what time it is. Oh, we still got a few minutes. All right, why don't I see if I can find that one that I want. Here we are. Let me just cut this. I don't want to cut myself. Um, where'd that one go? Oh, there it is. This one's plain Jane. She needs something behind her. That's not, it's not fancy enough. Oh, here's a little scrap of lace. And here's the little, so it's definitely worth ooh, taking it apart for. Oh, I'm standing up doing this. I'm gonna have to sit back down, guys. <sighs> Otherwise, I'd probably poke the living daylights out of myself. Okay, so let me get, all right. Yep, no, we want flour first. Think about your order of what you want on top. <clears throat> and we wanna do that one, and we wanna do that one, and we wanna do that one, and we wanna do, whoopsie. That kinda, of put these back there we go that one was kind of a hot mess I think that was my first one I think I did with you guys so mm, got it back in the same hole Ooh, how that happened that never happens right oh let's get our paper clip on there and then let me get that mm. there we go let me get that closed a little tricky, but not bad. Little, little fiddly. Um, let me find my pokey tool. Wow, I just saw a big hawk fly by. Oh my goodness, we have them everywhere here. They grab the, the rats and the mice. We do get big critters here, like rats and snakes and all kinds of stuff. Squirrels. Oh, I don't like it when they grab the squirrels up, but I like it when they grab everything else. So keep us rodent free. Oh, look at that one. Pretty, huh? It goes with that pink flower. Oh, I love it. I'm really happy with it. Isn't that pretty? All righty. Now I feel better about that one. This one's done. See, I think everybody got a little extra something. I think they're a little just too... Oh, this one needs a little bit of bling bling too. What do we think that needs? Oh, I was talking about pearls on that one. But I don't have any that have holes in them. I don't think... I want to hang on a minute. I can grab my box and see. If I do have one that I can string up. Ooh, I got sparkly ones too. Let's see if they'll fit through the pin. 
You know that means I have to undo it though, right? So let's try that. That one was a hot mess too. The first ones were kind of a, mm, not great, but as I got going, you saw my rhythm pick up. The more you do, the faster they get. Yeah, that one, that needed some work anyway. It's all right. The right side's pearl, but it doesn't have a good hole in it. Oh, that's going to be, no. I can get it on there, but it's going to be too hard. How about one of these little pretty ones? Oh, I can do that one. That's not bad. But I think that needs to go on first. Let me see. Let me try getting it on there. I have to put it next to me. Sorry, guys. I'll be back in a minute. There we go. There. I don't know. If I can get everything on there, we're gonna try. I don't know if I can get it uh, threaded back through is what I'm worried about. This one has a couple of pieces of lace and a piece of paper. So let's see. The only thing you don't want to go back through is your card. And that's where the difficult part gets. Let's string that on there. Aha. Oh, I did it. I did it, you guys. I did it. All righty. Look at that. So we... <laughs> we have our little... Um, Pretty bling on there. We've got some lace on there. We've got a little bit of everything on there. I'm having trouble with that darn pin. I will get it. There we are. So there you have it. Really cute. Super cute. You know what it is? It's bugging me. It's this right here. I don't like this little thing I got there. Let's get rid of that. That was really bugging me. I'm going to want the white to show. All right. So there you have it. We were able to make um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. Yay! Well, we didn't make them all on there, but I'd say we made about six of them on there. So I am feeling extremely happy with that. And boy, you guys, I'm so happy I tried this. Hopefully the video is good. If you see this, I'm happy with it. And that means I will also try to do it again, you know, on camera. And we can do another fun. I have another crafting project I want to try that Heather did at... Uh, a Rose Hill Paper Cottage, and um, I really want to try her project, so um, I would like to come back and do that with you guys, so hopefully we can do that very soon. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous Monday and a wonderful week, and I love you all, and hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.